Hello and welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. It takes place uh, this week on the south coast in Hastings uh, for our 10 minute tour. We are at Techno Turn. What are we going to see? Well, we're going to see all of their sections, their fixed head, their sliders, also their milling section. So welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips sponsored by Interco. So welcome, this is a five million turnover company with an ethos of basically not saying no. It is an incredible business, so much coming up in this week's 10 minute tour. Don't forget if you want your own 10 minute shop tour, contact us at inquiries at mtdcnc.com. Thousands of people watch these every week. So let's start, where are we starting? Okay, so we've, behind us is the assembly section, but there's a lot of NDAs, so we're not allowed in there. However, here we are in the fixed head section. So follow us, Paul, uh, lots of fixed head machines. This is an area that they are always investing in, but probably most of the investment has gone on down. It in has further area. afield, but this business was established in 1995 here, part of the Techno Group. And in fact, there is another division, which is Techno Set, which is yeah. based in rugby, which I believe started about 1978. That's 1978. the one. Yes, so you can see uh, uh, two businesses collectively servicing uh, a plethora of industries, including the aerospace, automotive, defense, defense science, medical yeah, as well medical, recently. Yeah. Uh, making a wash of quality components which we're about to show you um, now. We're going to show you a lot of components too because what's interesting is every single one of these machines is working. A lot of the time when we go out to machine shops we may see a machine that's down or anything but all of these machines are either having a changeover, turnover or they're making parts. They're busy here. This is a family owned business as well still from day dot. And what I find interesting about this company is the differences in some of the parts. Talking to Jonathan, who's the operations director, he was telling me that their scope is between one millimeters and 200 millimeters in diameter for turn parts, which we've seen here today. Now, what's really interesting is they really want to talk to everyone about that continual investment, investing in machines. And it is hard to believe that by investing in a big piece of equipment is actually going to reduce the cost of a part to the customer but that's what they've found and that's how you grow a business that's how you that's how you change the direction of your company from uh, you know from shrinking to growing which is essentially what they're doing here at techno so look at this part nice quality part there and uh, now don't forget for any of your exotic steels and alloys to contact our sponsor interco um, always very very proud to have them as part of our show so why have they gone for so many stars, Paul? Well, they started their journey with Star many, many years ago. The reliability of the machines is second to none for them. They can these. run them unmanned 24-7. It doesn't matter the material types they're cutting as well. Here you'll see brass components, you'll see stainless steels, you'll see uh, ink canals. And this SB20Rs is really where some of their journey with Star started. Now you're talking about a 20mm bar machines here, slide in head lathes and again more components that you can see machine. This particular one, aluminium. But what's really key to our visit today is the investment that took place not so long ago in the SW20R2. Now this machine has changed the, the dynamics completely of their turning department. In fact some of their parts they've reduced cycle times by up to 30% thanks to this machine's technology. And, and the technology has improved. They are, and you know, I've said it already, they're taking the cost out of the part. It's really important for them to say, they just don't want to say no to their customers. They don't want to just provide parts. They'll have customers come to them that will say, can you take the cost out of it for me? Can you change the material? Can you change tolerances? And they will pride themselves. That comes down to engineering expertise, which exactly. they are. Um, they're, they're very proud of having. Just quickly before we move on from this, the key benefit to this machine is the twin gang here. Yes. You've got the platen at the back and the platen at the front, which means they can do balance turning, which means they can do uh, roughing and finishing at the same time on so this. So the drilling and the milling at the same time, reducing vibration and as well. And look at the size of the diameter of this part here. Uh, it's, it's about one or, or two millimeters in diameter. Unbelievable, when I first looked at it, I was like, I, I need my specs. But it's quite interesting. But unfortunately, I've left them at well, home you need your, today. He needs his specs all the time. He does, you need them all the time. Right, let's head through to the milling section. Well, they often say that sliders have automation built into them. Well, that's exactly what they're trying to do here in this vast milling section. It is, and we're going to have a walk around now, and we're going to see their three-axis machining centres equipped with automation on them, and then move on to what has to be um, the jewel in their crown here. But don't forget, if you want your own 10-minute tour, to contact us at inquiries at mtdcnc.com. 
but also comment and tell us what you think about what they're doing here in the machine shop, some of the parts they're making, and why uh, and if this sort of um, adaptation of, of work holding and fourth axis unit is something that you would choose to do in your company. I tried to open that door then and I couldn't. Yeah, I tried as well, <laughs> but it's not working. So you've got a nick and table here. And then is this a micro lock? So this is a holding? micro lock work holding system. This is a twin pallet Doosan machine. The beauty of this is like we always see is the, the spindle's turning behind there. It's making parts, it's making money, it's doing what we're saying, reducing the cost of parts. But here they can be loading this and they can be loading four sides of that trunnion. You know, I'm just going to um, give reference to a company, RNG Precision. Um, they also have been doing this on a lot of their machines and it's just trying to maximise and really push the machines to their full potential. Don't know this gentleman's name here. Hello, sir. What's your name? My name's Adam. And Adam, and Adam, do you enjoy working here? It's fantastic. We do. <laughs> do you believe Adam? You can write the comment. Do you believe Adam? <laughs> Adam don't. loves working here. He does. Yeah. That's, that's great to hear. Um, what's good about here is you'll see that they've got several of these machines that they've done the same too. And when you when you start to see machines that have been multiplied, obviously there's a reason for that because the solution works. Is working. And that's been that's been then um, born out across this machine shop even to what would be their, one of their latest Doosan DNM 400s, which has obviously got the Nikon and the Trunnion table again. I can't emphasize enough, if Gio was here and he was watching, he'd be saying, you're presenting more parts to the to spindle. To the spindle, he would. Exactly he'd also be saying, OK, and spot on. And um, what's quite interesting as well is the fact that you've got a variety of brands of machines. Just give me a heads up as well. This is totally off the cuff from what we've been talking about, but this company is growing. They're looking for more staff and they've got three apprentices at the moment. And they've got a lot of people who work here are time served um, uh, engineers, apprentices. Twi they've got 24 by the end of the year. They want 30, so and, they want and, to grow. And did you know, I asked the guys the question because what we're going to move on to now is, is uh, going to be the end of our tour of the machine shop is one of their latest acquisitions, which was about two years ago, the MX330. I asked, um, the guy that uses this, a guy called Tony Brown, and I said to him, do you believe that by having this machine is going to reduce the workforce? And he said, no, I operate this machine. Before I operated three axis machines, now I operate five, mm -hmm. and actually I'm upskilled. I'm upskilled, I've learned, I'm, I've, I've been re-educated into a new way of making parts. Now that is a perfect illustration of what automation does to a company. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't make people redundant, it doesn't lose employees, it upskills them. Yeah. And that's yeah. what, what this 330 has done. Adding to what I said earlier as well, which is quite interesting, they have a lot of value added services at the company, they don't like to say no. So if they're plating, painting, uh, uh, destructive testing, everything like that. Wasn't that a bank that didn't like to say no? So, uh, it they bank? don't like to, don't was know. it? I don't, I don't know. know, it could have been. Well, Again, comment, yes. was it a bank, who knows? or is it just Paul's imagination? So they've got a lot of services that they like to offer. And you can't, I can't get this door open at the moment, but the MX330 10PC, this is where they load up the 10 components. And this is where this machine achieves that unmanned run for them overnight. Uh, here they're machining a very soft plastic material, but once again, this machine lends itself to harder, harder materials. There are some manifolds we've seen here that have been made out of stainless 316. This particular part, again, is a soft material, but it just shows the machining process is on here, Lindsay. If you had to do this on another machine, you would have to be tackling one face, two faces, three faces. You know, you, you, you've you always got six faces to a part, but you're yeah. going to have to do those five faces, you know, using a different setup. Here, they can do it all in one hit and they can run this 90 tool, five axis, 10 pallet MX330. I wonder what the spindle up time is on uh, this machine. Well, they're currently running at around about 60%, which is actually quite low for one of these machines because oh, okay. they will go well above 90, as you'll know. But it's still for them, they're getting to grips with a new CAD CAM system. They have had times where they've been running over 90, but at the moment they're running at about that. But that's also because of some of the work that they've got, some of the work types they've got. And actually, sometimes it's chewing through work so quickly that they might not have anything to put on it for a, for a night shift. So it's still an extremely efficient machine when you compare that to a vertical solutions standing on its own to get that percentage out. I spoke to Jonathan, I know this company have big plans for expansion in the coming years. Um, so watch this space. Techno Turn, part of the uh, techno, uh, group techno Group and Techno Set that is based in rugby as well. Now if you want your own uh, Swarf 10 minute tour then contact us at enquiries at mtdcnc.com. Uh, thousands of people watch these tours every week. We get to grips with all of the machine shops around the country. We see what they're making and how they're making it and you can be part of that. 
Um, all you need to do is contact us. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.